<laughs> Hope I don't shake too much. Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Business Crew. <clears throat> I just scared myself when I said, hey guys. Oh my goodness, you guys. So much has changed since yesterday. I did a lot of work in here. And my muscles are tired. <laughs> Let's see how well I can hold up this phone. Um, there's, there's, I'm not done. I'm not done. I still have a lot to do. But I'm very happy with what I have so far. I can see all my dolls. <laughs> okay. It's the first time I stepped in here. Since I was working on it. Okay, please excuse my. <laughs> I'm just so like, look at them. This is my dream of having <laughs> this. Oh, wow, I finally get it, you guys. Um,. I have a lot of special dolls in my room, but I'll show you how they're displayed in a second. I always wanted to see, I always wanted to see them like this. <laughs> Sorry, wait. Okay, I had to walk back. I had to pace <laughs> and try and calm myself down. This is my dream. Oh my goodness. I almost wanted a dream of this. Anyways, it. <laughs> how many years has it been since I wanted this? Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, these are not all my dolls, but these are the ones. Ones that I have chosen so far to be in the playpen. Oh, this is my Anastasia. She is one of my. And I'm so sorry I'm shaking. I'll try so hard not to shake. Oh, every time I talk, I shake. <sighs> okay, um, I'll just try and do this fast. Okay, there's my Anastasia. I named her Julia Rain. She was my first, like, real expensive. Um, wannabe sculpt and this is um my first oh look at look how real he looks that is the leaf asleep kit uh reborn by precious paz and i'll probably never afford her again <laughs> but yes he is wonderful i love him um Julia here was reborn by Lucy Gerard. She's in Quebec, and I own a lot of her dolls, and I really love her. This is a trade baby with Erin. I don't know who her artist is. I need to get her dressed, which I don't mind at all doing. She is so precious. I love, well, I love all my dolls. <laughs> this, excuse me. This one is one of my, that's my second doll I ever owned. She was reborn by a lady in BC. She no longer reborns. Um, but she's the Ember Kit by uh, Tasha Endulum. And she is named Francine. Louise, named after um, my middle name and Francis's middle name. And she is Francis's baby because she has this middle finger. <laughs> so that's why I always teach Francis. She is your baby. But the thing is, she has applied um, eyelashes and they're coming off. So this, oh, I love, oh my goodness. She is chunky too. I don't know if I want to redo her body or I don't know yet. This has a space because I am getting a surprise baby as a present. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys. 
Um, one of my dearest friends in this hobby, she decided to surprise me with a gift, and I can't believe it. So this, well, I'm not sure. I want sleeping babies. She will not be a sleeping baby, but don't worry. I'm not. I'm not done organizing this room. This is what I have so far. I have a lot of the plushies that were given to me in box openings. A lot of these are by Erin. I love her. Candy Love Sparkle, she gave me that bunny. Um, Francis bought me the Smurf. Uh, I have all these plushies. This was Eric's real plushie when he was younger. I got a lot of these from my dear friend Kelly, who's who's um, on eBay. She still has dolls for sale. I have so many plushies and stuff like this. Oh, I'm so happy. I can't believe it. Anyway, <laughs> um, over here I have Chiu. She, I, re I bought her secondhand from Wendy. Um, her artist is Asha, Pickles and Tea. Um, this beautiful one is from Wendy. Um, I love her. Oh, this is my ponette. She is having a wig, but it's on like really, really good. Um, it's a tray baby from Erin. <sighs> oh, am I am I not giving you their names? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot that I'm not telling you their names. Okay, Julia Rain, Noel Tannen. He is one of my Christmas babies. Chantal Maria, she is also one of my Christmas babies, not not at the same time, different years. Francine Eloise. This is Fernanda. Um I I used to have this one as a boy. This is one of my earlier, earlier um purchases. I bought well, I bought him as a boy. Actually, I bought him as a girl, I came to, and then I changed him to a boy, and now she's a girl. <laughs> But, um, this is one of, not my very first doll from Kelly, but I think my second or third doll from Kelly, um, from her eBay many years ago. Uh, I did tell you Chio's name. This one is Waverly. Uh, to be honest, I forget her middle name. <laughs> Waverly. Um, it'll probably come to me. This one is Panette. Ponette, uh, wait, Ponette, something, I forget, <laughs> I have some, I have a lot of dolls, Ponette, anyway, this one is Daniel Beretta, he is a twin to my Greta, my twin's name is Danielle Cassandra, she's in the bedroom, um, this is a real, one of my real son's it still works, it just needs batteries. I have one of those uh, plushy elephants that were popular, and I have a blue one too. I just need to find it, and it'll go right there. Under here, I have my Tink. Oh, I named her Amberly Bays, but she has really beautiful red hair. She, so she needs to be dressed. No problem. <laughs> I put this over here as my... Real Sun's nightstand, I turned it around because I'm not going to be using using it. But I will use it for a pedestal, I guess. Now, inside these drawers are my Real Sun's clothing that I never donated. Because normally I always used to donate everything. But there was one box left behind. And I had these. And these fit my Caden Blaine like perfectly. Caden's in the, uh, out in the car seat right now. Here is my Deanna Troy, and she's an Ashton Drake, and I never reweighted her yet. Um, I don't know. I might leave her on this. I love her. She's so cute, just sitting there. So, oh, and here I have my Creelin Jade. She is a baby I bought from, um, I was... Well, uh, super literally sweet, I was going to, that's her YouTube, but Jennifer, so I love her, how her hair is painted on, she's so sweet, so that's Krillin, she is a big girl, she's, 
in her bouncy chair. So I'm still unorganized over here. I have a whole bunch of cloth bodies in there, some bottle, random bottles I found. I have, um, I don't have money to paint over this, um, a few years ago his window was leaking and we had to fix it and that's as far as that we could afford or even do. <laughs> My son wasn't bothered when he was living in here he didn't mind it so it was fine it was no big huge priority. This is my baby. She is my, this just is perfect for her. This is a gift from Kelly. Oh she's so amazing. Um, there's some bins under here. I still need to organize. Um, I bought this from Pat Pat. It will be from my mini silicone twins that I have. Um, up here is a big mess, mess, mess. I have to go through, I have to go through, have to go through and still have things. I just placed them there. That's not their permanent spots. But up here, I have my Baby Alive collection. Yay, I finally have a place for my Baby Alive collection. These are all my Baby Alives. The only drink and wet system I can afford. But I love them. And these kind can eat food. So that's really fun. I also have a robotic Baby Alive. Oh, it's crazy, guys. I was cleaning up and I found her pacifier. And I put her pacifier in the robotic baby love and she came alive and she started crying. So I picked her up and started rocking her and patting her butt and she started cooing and awing and I'm like, oh, that's cute. <laughs> so yeah, I can't believe those baby lives, like, like how interactive they are. So it was kind of fun. Then I took out the pacifier and just laid her down. She went to sleep and that was it. <laughs> Here's my one of my alternatives, Joxer. He is a George Sculpt, um, King George Sculpt, um, reborn by Aaron Kenyu of Speckle. And this one, too, is I named her Tabitha. That's the name Tabitha Lake, but Tabitha is from the name, um, or the show Bewitched. Um, down here, I have a cuddle body, a cuddle body baby. Um, I named her, oh, what is it? Um, oh, I can't think of it. She has an Asian name, though, because I, I don't know. She looks a little Asian to me. Um, oh, why can't I think of it? And this is my this doll oh so amazing this one is like bald too but this one like has like ha like limbs that need to be um what's that word when they have like patchy skin it's like that um but i keep these mitts on because um Obviously, it's from paint being rubbed off, but an artist fixed it up so it won't rub off anymore. But still, I wear these mints, and this baby boy is weighted very heavily, so I refer to him as my therapy baby because he feels so perfect and heavy when I lay him. Plus, he's just so cute. So I had him as a girl and a boy, but his boy name is Emmanuel Luke. And his girl name is Brooklyn. And then I forget <laughs> what I named. But I named her the middle. So. Anyways. Oh, Akimi. This is her name. Akimi. It just came to me. I knew the names would eventually come to me. This one here is one of my sleeping Ashen Drakes. She is a breathing baby. So she breathes. She's so beautiful. And I have her. In this bank, sleeping bank. Oh, for Nash and Drake, I mean, it's done very well. I am impressed with Ash and Drake's quality. And the thing keeps going down and up. So now it's dark in here a bit. 
This is one of my very first dolls. She is a full vinyl. She still has insides, but she's a full vinyl uh, sculpt. So that's kind of cool for pictures. She like completely all the way around. And she's my third baby I think I ever got. Third or fourth. Um, but she is so sweet. I forget what scope she is. But she resembles my um my very first doll I've ever got. Which I'll show you in a few seconds. <sighs> but she is so sweet. I'll be right back. Yeah, the sun just keeps going in and out, in and out. But, um, oh, Leandra, that's what I named her. Leandra something, I forget her middle name. But here's Leandra. Oh. <laughs> and here's Yoda. Yoda, baby. So cute. I just threw him there. Um, so yeah, I was talking about her. And her name is... Ella Rose, that's it, Ella Rose, um, I'll keep going, I'll keep going, because I have something to say pretty soon, this is what, Carissa Nicole, oh, I love her so much, she is, like, weighted perfectly, she can, she's so heavy, but yet, when I set her down, she can sit, and I love that she has, like, painted and rooted hair, she has combination hair, and, oh, she's just the perfect size. I love Carissa Nicole here. Um, she's an April kit, and I got her. I either bought her or got her in a trade with Erin. And I forget. <laughs> we trade a lot, and I buy from her a lot, so I can't really remember. This one needs her hair brushed a lot, but I love her. This is Bethany Grace. She's my first toddler in my collection. And I love her. She is reborn by a wonderful lady who doesn't reborn anymore, who doesn't even go in the hobby anymore. But she's she's uh, from Quebec, and her name was Sandrine. And I love Sandrine. I'm still her friend on Facebook. And Sandrine is having a real baby in real life. So that's kind of interesting. Ooh, and this is my Simona, Simona Rain. She's one of my later toddler girls. I love her too already. She's she's in perfectly with the clan. Now, this is mumbled. It's a whole bunch of blankets there I have to go through. Um, these are some bins that I'm just covering up for now. And see, if you notice, I've taken away the laundry baskets. I thought that they were taking up a lot of unnecessary room. And these as well i'm feeling that way too i rather have this like filled up with dolls even though i know look at look at all this <laughs> i do have a large collection guys i still like carly is still not up here and rebecca is still not up here <sighs> but yeah here's i put the moses cradle basket down so but it's still on the cradle oh did I say who's under here? That's Amka. Amka Brenly. Oh, she's so sweet. She's one of my primi girls too. She's under there. Um, this I'm trying not to turn around too fast. This is um I'll fill this up with more diapers or whatever, probably diapers, and then put it under the playpen. I still have to go through that. Um, there's my two twin A's in there. Wendy and Wyatt, this one, I need to redo this one, because this one, I'm not happy with at all, um, oh, what did I name her, Willow, Willow, Ro Willow Blue, that was her name, Willow Blue, because she's so sad, but this body, I'm not, I'm not liking this body at all. It's like more old fashioned and she's kind of chunky. I don't know. If she was on a different body, I could never bond with this one. So even though she's so beautiful, she's so cute. It's like, oh, don't cry. Her hair needs to be, yeah, she needs help. She needs a dolly doctor. And I am the dolly doctor. <laughs> 
<sighs> anyway, <laughs> anyways, I have more business I have to go through. I'm not done, guys. This is just part two of what I've done to the nursery. And here are a couple of my alternatives. She is my candy cane girl. Um, I can't wait to have her. And this is my Abigail. She is my ghost girl. And I think there's another one hiding in here. Yeah, Karen is in here. She is my pixie alternative girl. She has long, beautiful hair. I can't, I can't really get her right now. But she is my pixie girl. So that, I thought this Moses basket will be good for my alternatives. So, because um, also the lining in here is like kind of, it's not dark with like, these fall colors, Halloween colors. So, yeah, but even though she's my Christmas girl, I might, well, there's still Riddick, you guys. Riddick and uh, Lucinda, but they have a place in the living room. So, they're also my, uh, Lucinda is my witch baby, and Riddick is my zombie baby. So, but I'm not done in here. I would love to put something, take those down, laminate them, and keep them safe for my son and for myself. But I would love to put something more girly up there. And I think I will. Um, I don't know. I think I will take down the Star Wars stickers. They're pretty easy if you can see that. Those Star Wars stickers are kind of coming off anyway. I will put up the Baby of Valance to, to lighten them up. Although I love, I love those two Star Wars stickers. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep those. <laughs> I love Star Wars too. But when I step back and take a look, let's see so I don't trip. I love this room coming together, and yes, I do have a large, large collection. Let's see, I wonder, can I go into a long mode on here? No, I can't. But, I mean, I'm not done. I still have a lot more to do, a lot more to go through. But I love this area. I love that. I think I will want to put something more girly. Oh, I have an idea. I'm trying not to go too fast. Um, this I received in a box opening like many years ago, and it's an old calendar of babies. This is my favorite one, which is, of course, Febu February, which is my birthday, but I love... So I thought, hey, I can cut these out and laminate them, and then I can stick them up all over the room so that's what I'd love to do with those I'm going to keep these three posters and the alphabet train um I'm going to laminate that and then put some girly wait something girly up there i want to put more flowers in here more girly things i can um i do have a net for because many years ago i bought a hammock net for my monkey i also have a monkey reborn that's in my bedroom right now but i mean the monkey and the dog can share the hammock I don't know. I kind of really look. I love this. It's a puppy bed. But maybe I could put the whole puppy bed into a hammock. So I could put a couple of hammocks in the corner. There are room. There is room. There are room. <laughs> there is room. I have to go through all those bins yet. I still never did that. I am going to utilize these drawers with, um, I'll see if some of those bins can fit in there. And I didn't show you last but least, my very, very first reborn to start the whole journey, Emily Faye. Aw, and I love her. She is my number one 
my very first reborn ever and i remember thinking wow she's kind of small <laughs> she's a very small newborn she wears newborn size but they're big on her and loose and when she wears preemie it's very tight on her so i prefer her in like bigger outfits like this but she is my very first so she will be right here that's her home put her in this beautiful basket and i still have yet there's some things look here is my original oh wait not that one. Oh wait maybe it is in here did you see this cute leather jacket one will fit xena and one will fit abigail but this is my original inuit parka inui as they say but it's a eskimo parka Oh, and I have more knitted things. I have to put better use to these. Maybe hang up the jackets. Oh, I feel like I'm out of breath. So this is day two. Um, I will tell you this. Uh, for the most part, this two areas is complete. This is how I want it. I do have room for one more doll. Oh put that sleeping doll in here um i will reorganize the stuffies a bit but for the most part this playpen is there to stay i do i did take advantage and there is storage like underneath like this part and at the very very bottom i will roll that tote under there this will be saying this is complete um I might add two more dolls in here, like awake dolls. And she, that's her permanent spot, Abka's. And this is, um, I could trade out the baby room as well, but I really like how this chair is sitting there. Oh, I feel like I'm out of breath or something. My baby life collection up here is where they will stay. Um, one of these days, I will open up those boxes. I just never had a chance. This is all going to be redone. I'm not quite sure what to do with that yet. I think I will move these. I don't want them here. So I can utilize the table more. Better efficiently. And I will be adding a more higher tower of totes. I still have more in the basement, guys. <laughs> Not dolls, mostly toes with a bunch of clothes in it. But, and I do want to add something girly. Girly and pretty. I have um, some flowers. That I already own their fake flowers, but I mean, well, this one is fake over there, too. And I'm not sure where to put that lamp yet, because, well, I have this lamp for reborning or crafts. That I want to do in here. So, but yeah, what do you guys think so far? <laughs> so, let's see if I can uh, have the lighting on me somewhat. It's kind of weird color in here. But what do you guys think of it so far? I know it, I can't believe. Like, I knew I had a large collection, but when you look at it all at once, it's like, wow, I do have a lot of dolls. But I love my playpen area so much. Oh, I just, just looking at it, just so peaceful. I love it. Ah, I love all these dolls. I love them. Oh. I feel so happy right now. Thank you to all your positive comments too. Under my recent two videos about this. This will be my third. Thank you guys so much for those beautiful comments. Oh my goodness. I felt so happy. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> anyway what okay what i just thank you 
yeah i'm trying not to cry that's that's what, <laughs> that's what i'm doing so anyways guys uh this is not complete yet this is a lot of work was done yesterday i can't believe how much i did uh, there are still a few more things i still have to think of where to put carly and rebecca i would love to have carly close to me to the desk she's my child doll so um and rebecca is my standing toddler doll she's a bit she's a lot like uh elodie but elodie will stay in the living room where she is so but um like uh, um, the dolls that I have in the living room and my bedroom right now, that's where they'll stay for the most part. Maybe I might rotate, I probably will rotate these guys, the placements of these guys. But for the most part, my preemie sleepings will stay in the crib, the playpen, and my awake babies here for the most part. And I mean... Amka fits perfectly there, and Amberly fits perfectly there, and Emily, she will stay definitely. And like the first thing you see when you walk in this room will be Emily. She's the one that started this whole journey, guys. And I thank you so much for being here and sharing the moment with me. It means a lot. Next time I do an updated tour, it will be different. There's still, like, this is not staying right here at all. So, I do have a swing, a real swing of my son's, but I don't think there's enough for me here. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Someday, maybe. Maybe when this dresser moves. Maybe if my son wants his dresser back, I'll have room for it. <laughs> but anyways, guys, my arm is getting very tired. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart for being here, you guys. You have no idea how much you mean. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So anyways, until next time, hopefully tomorrow. See you then, guys. Bye for now. Match hand, guys. Give me a high five. Come on, guys. Until next time. Love you, guys. Match hands. Match it. Love you.